welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends, my nostalgia playthrough of one of my favorite games of all time. Last time we went through the desert, we found fortune tellers and dancers and such who are going to take us where we need to go, sort of. Also, we were abandoned and don't have a boat, so we're going to team up with this belly dancer lady who is suspiciously trying to help us, and we are going to go off and find the desert temple for the first moon crystal. Pretty sure that's where we're at. Hey, handsome. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting she has voice acting. Good morning, I trust you slept well last night. Uh-huh. It was the best night's sleep I've had in a long time, so I guess we should get ready and start exploring the desert. That's weird, guys. Only those who have walked through the desert can truly know its size, is a saying we have in Nassar. It's difficult to cross the desert on foot because of the heat. A mere half day's walk can be deadly. You need a ship to cross it. Well, then we got a ship. Huh, a ship, huh? Is this one yours? Hmm. Yes, it's not much, but it's very reliable. Humph. <laughs> Humph, she does not enjoy this. Um, Belina, why are you going out of your way to give us a ride? You don't even know us. Well. You aren't very grateful, are you? <laughs> if I were doing a thirst and someone offered me water, you'd probably ask where it came from first. What? Aw, oh, she's angry. That's an entire character trait. Hey, Art, if you must know, then I'll tell you. My father was a scholar. He was a poor man and sometimes a little short-tempered, but he was a good man and a good father. We struggled to get by and my father was barely able to support us. We had nothing to rely on but each other, but we were happy. Until that day 20 years ago. 20 years ago, Vahala and Nasser declared war on each other and my father was killed in battle. When he died, we had nothing. No food, nobody to support us, nobody to raise us. We had to live on the streets. Some say you can't die from a broken heart, but they're wrong. My mother died shortly after my father. She was so sad. I was alone and scared. I had to fend for myself in the streets, and that's how I ended up living like this. Probably oh, we're so sorry, but I had no idea. Ever since then, I've hated war. Hundreds of people die. Hundreds more families have to go through what I went through. That is why I'm letting you know I want to use my ship, please. We'll do it. Yep. We'll do it. It's a weird... Yeah, fine. We'll use your ship. Thank you. Oh, so much. I'm so sorry for what I said earlier. I shouldn't have spoken to you that way. Lost my parents when I was young, too. I know what you went through. It's quite alright, as long as you understand and don't take my generosity for granted. Alright, everyone. Get on board. The Temple of Prin lies to the east in the middle of the desert. Let's go. Pyrin? Pyrin. Probably Pyrin. Okay. Due east. Switch is this away, according to our compass. Uh, we're probably going to be encountering a lot of red enemies. So, red enemies are weak against blue and purple stones. That's good to know. We'll keep an eye out because for some, for some reason the desert is full of not necessarily red enemies. So, we're going to see. I think we just go due east. We found that last time. Um, I can't remember if this thing is hidden or not. Oh, hello. So I guess uh, Belina is not going to help us fight, huh? So let's see. These are... See, this guy is blue, and that guy's orange. That guy's yellow, and that guy's blue. The stone guy, who is yellow, needs a blue crystal, so Vice will just attack you. And then I guess we're just leveling up our other stuff, so just bam and bam. We get a free turn to attack, because they, uh we're randomly surprised. That's what it means when the enemies start facing away from you. Is you got a surprise attack, which is completely random and I have no idea what dictates that for the game. Okay, uh... I can use Cutlass Fl Flurry. I could use Cutlass Fury, but there's no point. Uh, you use... Lambda Burst, and you just attack that one for some cleanup. This is a good cleanup spell. Unfortunately, we don't have enough SP to use it first turn, but this is your early deal damage to everything on screen spell, which is usually enough, but unfortunately it takes two turns to get off until we level up enough. But still, very useful. Okay, good. We're getting Fina leveled up, because look at that. She's level six. She is half the level of the rest of the freaking party. Also, we're getting her healing magic up. This game has so many different magical things to level, just little things and doodahs and whatevers. 
it's just in oh, okay, it's not hidden. There it is. How did no one find this before? Seriously? I found the Temple of Pyrene. This giant pyramid is sitting here. You can see it from miles. A stone building thought to have been created by an ancient dynasty. The stone work and construction demonstrate a high level of technology for that period, but no clues are left as the point or purpose behind these huge creations. I wonder how many games of this era had large deserts because it's just one repeated sand texture over and over. It doesn't look too bad. The Temple of Pyre, and it's huge. I can't believe it's the most amazing thing it's ever seen. The people of the old world were able to build this thing in this heat. And it's built on sand too. That's incredible. Hey, within this temple lies the red crystal. Be careful, though. According to Silverite lore, it is guarded by hordes of creatures. Well then, let's get going. Avelina, what are you going to do? I'll be waiting out here, and besides, I won't be able to help you fighting off monsters in this outfit. Well, I might be a little rough in there for a beautiful woman like yourself. Uh-huh. Nelly, what about me and Fina? We'll remember too, you know. What are you trying to say? Come on, Fina, let's leave Macho Man behind and get the crystal ourselves. <laughs> Might be kind of fun. We'll probably get it faster without it. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I didn't mean. Eh, watching the three of you really cheers me up. You're such good friends, and Vice is so funny. Well, I'm sure a beautiful woman like yourself gets gets herself a much much better guy than Mr. Foot in his mouth. Ah, sorry, there's no one special in my life right now. Well, there's someone that I'm in love with, but he would never give me a second look. I don't want to talk about it right now. We should probably get going. I'll be waiting here. Be careful in there. Don't worry, we'll be back before you even notice we're gone. Okay, so, temple. This place is huge. Look at this. It takes you 20 freaking minutes to even walk up the stairs. I'm pretty sure we didn't take any damage in the last fight, so... It doesn't really matter whether we level up or not. These giant... Lego faces. Yeah, giant Lego dude faces. Look at these things. Legos, or whatever that thing from uh, Mega Man is. I'm not familiar enough with Mega Man, but those, there's those Mega Man dudes with the weird Lego looking heads. Oh, right, it lets us, it puts us all the way up the stairs because it takes so freaking long to even get up here. This is such a ridiculous, a ridiculous, ridiculous place. Now, I, when I was younger, I would just make sure that the entire map turned red, just because, but I don't think it really matters at all. So we're just going to go inside. I need to be very careful to make sure that we are always healed and always ready to go, because these temples are no joke. The dungeons in this game are no joke. This is fun music. Now, just like anywhere else in the game, there's random encounters when you're on foot. So, there's puzzles to solve, and there's random encounters to encounter. Like, for instance, see how there's a door over there that I can't get to yet? Let's see if I remember how to do this. You can get on this barrel, and you can move the barrel by backstepping on the barrel. There's no chance that you're going to fall off of it, which is nice. And then I can go over here, go whoop, 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 and just step over here. It's not much of a puzzle, but it does technically qualify as a puzzle. Also, you should be careful anytime you're in a room with a chest, because, you know, you can have this happen. Alright, we got these things. These guys are, in fact, all red. So let's go to my cheat sheet, because the game never tells you these things. Red, so blue or purple. Vice already has blue, so we'll attack. Purple, um... I kind of want you to Delta Shield because I can't remember what these guys do, and you just focus. Delta shield. So that'll protect us from magic if these things use magic because I can't remember. And you can just start bashing them down. Oof. Trimble. Okay, so Trimble means that they're going to do something next turn. I remember that. Focus. Yep. Usually if it does something weird, it means it's going to do a big attack next turn. And that was the middle one that trembled, which is the one that we've done no damage to. Ooh. Also, that's pretty defensey. Okay, so uh, I want to cut Fury, that middle guy. 
you two please guard, because that middle one is going to do something untoward if we don't kill him. Now I'm hoping that this does kill it. Thank you. So we don't have to find out what horrible thing it was going to do. That one is going to do something untoward. And you are also going to do something untoward. So... Let's see, we can't kill both of them. We can probably kill one. What if I focus the other one? Let's just see. This might be a bad idea. Right. You don't do enough damage to actually accomplish anything, do you? Over there. And you're certainly not going to. These things have a really high defense. Yeah, lava storm. So it's gonna hit everyone and we're unprepared because it didn't guard. But at least it's fine. These things telegraph their attacks. All right, just kill this thing and I don't, I could use some magic. I could use like Castalis or, Wav or Waveli magic, but I don't think it's worthwhile right now. So both of you just guard in case. There we go. That's gonna be most fights in here. These things take a freaking pounding. These things have such high defense. Vice is the only one who can really do anything. Excellent. Thankfully, Fina is going to keep leveling. And we got a Pyre box, which is pretty useless for what we're doing here. And I got gold, which is just money. That's fine. You know, oops, wrong one. But, of course, please do. You have the most magic, so... Heal up everyone for a bit. We also have a lot of those... Um, other things, not the berries, the... I forget what they're called. We have the things that will restore magic power. And now we can head back. So there we go. That's a lot of the dungeons in this game, is... Minor side puzzles to let you progress. A couple of main puzzles to, uh, to progress through the level itself. And then these little side puzzles to get to... Uh, to get to things like that. Little, little side areas and... Okay, can I... Sometimes you can't actually get to where this thing is yet. Uh, let's see, is there another place around? I don't see another obvious area, but I also don't think we're gonna be able to get it right now. So sometimes you can't get to those things immediately, even though I want that moonfish. You can't miss any of the moonfish. None of the, like, none of the, like, important collectibles in this game are somewhere you can really miss. So, that's at least something you can always come back to these dungeons. But it's annoying. Oh no, now we are being now we're being ambushed. But that does mean that as long as we survive this, we'll start with we should start with two turns worth of uh, willpower, I think. Oh no, drilling. Which hopefully means that we can get off the um, the Delta Storm or whatever it was called. Also, Vice counterattacks a lot. These bug things are very stupid for attacking me. I love these dung flies. They're just giant dung beetles that roll a ball of dung at you. It is such an absurd enemy. This game is very odd, and it's... Well, I guess I don't know how odd it is, because... Things definitely swarm. Lambda burst, that was it. You focus so we can get more stuff going. This game swarms you, and then expects you to use super moves like this in order to deal with the swarming. Which is an interesting way to go, in my opinion. Uh... I guess it does teach you how to use the super moves and things effectively. That's a little odd to just swarm you with limited, you know, if you just attacked, I would never be able to win that fight. I mean, they don't do enough damage to really threaten me in any particularly meaningful way, but it would be a pain. Alright, you got with Ellie. Let's see. Any closer to, uh... The moon, moon dude? Nope, not yet. So maybe we need to do something else. 
There is definitely a lot of water down here, which is interesting in a fire temple. I'm sure that will be something that we need to do something about later. Okay, now we have a rolling rock puzzle. Since you can't sprint, it's just about timing. Let's see, make sure that you find the upside area. Thank you. This goes back up, so I'm, at, I'm legitimately having trouble remembering how I get this moonfish. It may or may not be this direction. We'll see. Oh, loopers. Hello, loopers. Loopers are always fun. They're going to... Uh, stop that. Loopers are going to dodge every single attack I throw at them, but... You know, always interesting. Now this is a very viable tactic, is to just turtle up while your main guy attacks, because as we saw, Fina can't really do much. Like, neither of the two really uh, do enough damage to justify themselves most of the time. Ooh, now unfortunately Vice getting debuffed is not what you want. Not even a little bit. And they're calling allies. Since you get swarmed so much, you really need to get to the point where you can use one of your clearing attacks early. Thankfully, I can use the clear, the, you know, the clear screen attack. Eh, 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 come on, just hit the looper. Lambda Burst. I can use Lambda Burst very early on right now. It's only two turns away. So I can use it on the second turn, which is a little tedious. But very necessary, because you see, not only do you get a ton of enemies, but the enemies reinforce themselves. Which is so boring. Okay, failed magic. Loopers do this a lot. They're such a weird enemy. They give you extra XP when you hit them, but they're difficult to hit. And they... They're difficult to hit. They don't do a lot of damage. And they often miss, including with their magic. It's a very, very weird enemy. These ones are red, so, you know, attacking them with purple is fine. They often run as well, so. And off they go. That was easy. One of the best farming tactics later on is to get an item that prevents enemies from running away. And just farm the loopers. Because they give you a lot of XP for what they are. And when you use super moves on them, you can, you tend to kill them quickly. I gotta switch Fina or Aika to a weapon that we're trying to learn more of, like silver or uh, like silver or green, so that we can get more healing and other magic. The silver magic's very, very important for later in the game as well. So we need to level up all of that. Oof. Okay. Um, Vice, just attack. You. You know, you be silver for right now and focus. You be green for right now and focus. None of this particularly matters. Oh no, Slapira. No, 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 don't put, don't put Aika to sleep. Oh, the one person who needed to be awake. That's so not fair. Oh, these status moves. That is, that is exactly why I should be using a different tactic. Anyway, you just, Vice just keep killing stuff. And then Fina can attack a bit as well. And hopefully Aka wakes up. Oh, Slapira again. Okay, these stupid dung beetles, I forget that they can do this. This is exactly why you block magic. Oof. So this is going to be the tactic from now on. <laughs> block magic. Focus with the other two characters so that we get up to eight in the next turn. Then use Aka's crowd clear ability. And that way we don't wind up in, sis in situations like this where we're just waiting for Fina to wrap up the enemies. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Lunar Blessings, why not? We haven't seen this one yet. This one should give everyone regeneration. Really important to get that early in boss fights, but since we're going to be here for a while, it we may as well. 
This is what happens. You use the wrong tactics, you wind up in stupid long boss fights. This isn't even a boss fight. You just wind up in stupid long fights because you used the wrong tactics. Which is, you know, it's not damaging to me at all. It's just annoying. Any attack they do is going to get taken care of by the fact that I've given everyone regeneration with Fina's magic. So really, the only thing that happens is this fight takes way too long and I'm skipping around it randomly and editing, but now I'm just boring everyone, so really. And six damage, oof. But see, now we're basically back to full health. Really, these fights are just uh, ridiculous if you mess up your tactics like that. Anyway, you focus and there we go. You never know when an enemy is going to call out some sort of stupid magic that's going to mess up all of your stuff. But you get two magic XP, which is good for what we're trying to rank up. Oh right, he was using blue. So now he's Nox and Quicka, which is good. Actually, Quicka is really nice. Behemoth's Ring. Hmm, I wonder what that... What does a Behemoth's Ring do? Let's see... Behemoth's Ring. Boost defense and magic defense to yellow magic protects against weak. That's nice. Nobody's do it. Well, actually, protects against weak is very nice. What does Vice have right now? What does Vice have now? Warrior's Rune. Increases attack power, defense, hit, and dodge percent. Uh, attack power is very, very important for Vice right now, so I don't think it's worth it. Okay, come on. That's gotta be... There we go. Yeah, that had to be a moonfish somewhere. There we go. Yes, uh, right there? How do I... I'm forgetting which button. Come on, button, button. There we go. Moonfish. Thank you. Excuse me. We have caught the moonfish. And we are now at another one of these chests. One of these chests is going to be a major fight, so I'm just nervous about opening these things. And it's just these rock dudes again. Okay, so... Vice, you attack. Thank you, you focus and you focus. The rock dudes, I don't know if use magic. I haven't seen them. So they probably either prepare to attack their big lava thingy, or they just attack normally, which doesn't do that much damage. Alright, so middle Tiki is setting up an attack for next turn. You did 200 damage, which isn't much. So middle Tiki we can just take out. And just keep focusing so that we can do whatever we want. Alright, Fina is almost caught up with the rest of the group, which is great. I love the way leveling works. The XP scales very well. It's nice. Now we get to open this chest to get an Ancient Robe 1. Okay, what is that when it's at home? That sounds like something you might want to use. Ancient Rube will increase defense and magic defense. Okay, what's... is it better on Aka or is it better on Fina, who is very squidgy? Ancient Robe would reduce your hit and dodge chance. A bit. Uh, you know what, we'll give it to Aka because it's a straight positive increase on Aka, and it's a mixed, not, nope, not super moves, come on, equipment. And it's a mixed increase on Fina. There we go. Gives you dodge up and magic defense up, which is good. Always, always good. Oh, you know, while I'm here, Fina, please use your healing magic on Vice. There we go. Always make sure you keep the party topped up. This can, in fact, be a war of attrition sometimes. Okay, no way out of this room, except this way, so this was just a chest room. How did I get in here? I feel like running up the side... Maybe there was a different way to go on one of these sides. So I feel like all I did was run up this ramp. 
Everyone took a bit more damage in that fight than I wanted, but you learned a lot of spells, which is nice. Kira, yes, please. Kira is definitely... Oh, and Stormwing. Did we get a better weapon for you? Yes, we did. Stormwing, a better weapon. Also, you've now earned uh, Cura, which is the first of these. Cura is one ally of adverse effects except unconsciousness, which is so great because the reason that I took more damage in that fight than I wanted is because people started getting stoned. Now, outside of battle, your spells only ever take one magic point. So you should always use the highest one you can. And then let's just give you guys back your spells. We have a lot of magic droplets, which we definitely need to keep refilling on. But now I have unlimited healing as long as I have magic droplets. Outside of battle, this is a somewhat broken system. <laughs> Alright, oh right, because this is where the giant rocks are going to come to try to crush me. Alright, so that side of the corridor is nothing. Run, 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 and there we go. Okay, now we have reached the bottom of the Death Boulders. I'm not entirely sure what happens if those hit you. I, I don't know. They're pretty easy to dodge. I'm actually not sure what happens if one of them hits me. I almost want to find out, but then again, I almost don't. All right, this is some sort of... This is a little, let's see, rolling puzzle. We need to get this all the way into back. Right? We need to fill in all these holes. So, obviously, we need to get these two full so that we can get that third one all the way across to the final hole. Not bad. This is the level of puzzle in this game, which, you know, not always awful. Not the best, not awful. It's it's a little palette cleansy puzzle. I could mess this up. I think I might have messed this up my first time, and then you have to kind of leave the room and come back or do something to reset it. I can't remember what. There we go. Door is open. And time to head off. Now, if I were me, which I am, I'd do something devious like hide a door behind one of these, but apparently they are not me. Which is too bad, because that would be funner level design. I'm not even complaining about the level design. This is like a very old school dungeon crawly dungeon. Nothing too difficult, a few side paths to get items. Okay, now I'm stuck. Does not make me feel well, does not bode. I do not like how this bodes. All right, there's another chest. This one's just out in the middle of a room, maze room. All right, let's just open up this chest. All right, more tiki dudes. All right, fine, let's just Take out the Tiki Dudes. Alright, very, very easy fight. Once you have the Lava Dudes figured out, they don't do a lot to you. We got a Pyre Box, Nox was earned, and we get whatever's in this chest. Sakaris Crystals. We do get a lot of healing items. Alright, um... Sure, let's go about this systematically. We're gonna need to explore every single part of this dungeon. So let's start by turning down here and seeing... Okay, the budge is too heavy to move. <laughs> the budge. The door is too heavy to budge. The door is too heavy to move. Cannot be budged because of the heaviness of the door. All right, let's go this way. All right, that stupid bug is the thing that almost party wiped me last time because it can inflict the stone ailment, which is not good. Oh, I forgot her wing sword can can uh, apply disadvantage. I'm too used to D and D. Can debuff people. <laughs> All right, now this thing's almost dead. Oh, good. He only attacked and he missed. So let's just attack. Let's, um... You know what? Alpha Storm to see if we can catch the blooper. No, he ran. Oh, well. It's not like your spirit carries over between fights anyway, so there's no point to not using it. Goodbye, terrifying walking bug dude. Those things freak me out, because they've eaten the guy's head, and they're puppeteering a corpse. 
It's terrifying. All right, another chest. More tiki's. Okay, we know how to handle the tiki's, so we'll just handle the tiki's. And another easy fight with the magma things. Gives me a pyre box, which will be useful in other circumstances. And we've got a dancing arc. What is that? I don't know what that is. Anyway, I need to check on Vice because look how damaged Vice got. Sakaris. There we go. Vice was getting really, really focused in that that round. So what was this thing I just got? Dancing... Was that a... Um, dancing Arc is another... Another one of these. Another weapon. Is that better or worse than that Stormwing thing you just got? Unfortunately, all weapons are just a straight increase or decrease. Like, this can weaken enemies. This can... Uh, dancing Arc. A blade used by the Nessarian Dancers. Used as a hunting weapon as well. Nope, Stormwing is just straight better. Yeah, has the power to weaken enemies. This is just bad. Like, weapons in this game are just straight up better or worse, unfortunately. I kind of wish that wasn't the case, because it'd be nice to be able to make some tactical decisions. Like, do I want a weapon that's slightly weaker on this, but can apply the status effect? Or a weapon that is stronger, but doesn't do this other thing, you know, it could be really interesting, but unfortunately, no. No, no, that's not what we get. Okay, so now we have something slightly more complicated. We need to get both these red ones and then both these blue ones, which, okay, it's another easy puzzle because we just need to roll this across here to get the red one in. Roll this across here to get the blue one in. and then roll the other two across the other way so that they go across the first ones and can get to the second ones. I can't remember if these get more complicated or not because this could just be teaching you the mechanics of the puzzle, which useful. Teaching you the mechanics of the puzzle is always useful. There we go, something unlocked. Oh, hello. Entire room moved down. I don't know if I like that. Oh, and then it opened up that door, which I think might be the way that we couldn't go before. Let's see. All right, so we've got another door open over here, so that's good. This is probably our way forward. This might be... All right, so I can open that now. Yeah, this is our way back up. Okay, good. This is... Wait, is it? No, this is our way forward. Hold up. Okay, there's more rocks. Let's go back. Let's go back. That other one might be our way back. Okay, so that door is our way forward. This door might be our way back. Because there were a couple of treasure chests up there we still need. Yes, that's better. Okay, little level. And any more magic? We got willpower. Will is up. That might be good. I can't remember which one dictates how much spirit we think. I think it might be Will. Got another behemoth ring. Got to open. Oh no, we didn't. We weren't opening a thing. We just got back up to where we were. Right. Okay, so that was the way out there. I think that there was another thing to look at over here. Yes, there's another room over here. All right. This out of the way weird chest, I need to make sure that I'm leveled that I'm healed up and everything for, because some of these chests are worse than others. Right, completely healed, and all good to go, just in case. All right, just magma tiki's again. We know how to deal with these guys. Right, another pointless boss fight, for, or not boss fight, another pointless treasure fight for 700 gold. At least we're rolling in money. All right, that was that, so. What happens if I try to go through here now? Can I? Did this turn into a ladder? No, this turned into a dead end. That's unfortunate. All right, let's head back and get down to that path again. We have opened all the treasure chests on this level. And back. Okay, this is where we, I think, we're going to encounter more rolling boulders. I want to be very careful because there we go. Now the game has changed view. And are we going to see rolling boulders? Is it going to? come after me after I step down here. All right, probably, because... Ah, dodge. Ooh, um, okay, one champ, thank you. 
All right, over this side, anything? Yes, there's another pathway. And there's another chest. This one's too short, This I don't trust it. Never trust a chest. More Tiki Dudes. One day you'll see why I'm so nervous about these rooms. That day is not today. This chest was more gold. Oh, Moonberry, nice. Moonberries are very important. Do I have enough Moonberries to do anything? I really need to get Fina's super moves up. Yes. It's power of Silver Moon to damage and possibly stone a single enemy. Not as good, but I need to unlock her moves so that we can get to some of her higher tier moves. Who to unlock stuff with Moonberries is very... It's a, it's an iffy prospect. It's It takes planning. Run, 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 there we go. I don't even know what happens if those hit you. It can't be good. Can't be good. All right, I think that's it for this room. Next section. Lava. Can't have a fire dungeon without lava. Can we? No. No, we can't. Completely disallowed. It is really cool, though. I mean, there's something about this era of games and their lava graphics that I've always liked. One of my favorite places, not favorite places, one of my favorite, like, lava things. Oh, look at all these buggers. Okay, everyone just attack. Like, it's the only thing that might possibly do anything. One of my favorite things is, like, Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the lava pit surrounding the, uh, surrounding Ganon's floating fortress in the second half of the game. One of my favorite stupid lava effects. Like, the lava effects in that game are so dumb looking, but that one moves and swirls and things. It's really cool. Uh, you know, I haven't actually tried it. What happens if I cut this Fury a looper? I can't remember if that's a guaranteed hit or not, because some stuff is. Sometimes they just take zero damage, even though you attack them and it's kind of bold. Alright, is a guaranteed hit. Good to know. And you ran. That was Loopers are such an easy fight, if annoying, because they dodge, they dodge, they dodge. They're very dodgy little buggers. But they do give you a lot of stuff. Fina's finally up to level 12, even though everyone else is leveled up without her. Got my blue quicker, and got a black map. I think that's the thing that keeps enemies from running away. Um, don't want it yet. I think it also might make encounters more something. Oh, this. Ah, I have a weird memory of this one. I may or may not be right about it, but you know what? It is never bad to make sure you're at full strength before you know a fight is happening. So. Get everyone up to strength and be ready. No, more Tiki Dudes. Okay, I'm so paranoid about chests in this game. Nothing that noteworthy, but we do get... Moon Droplets, excellent. More Moon Droplets is always good. Now we've completed that, got our magic drops, and I'm still just paranoid about chests. One of these days, we will find the chest that I'm paranoid about, and I can stop it. But, you know, like I said, it's never bad. There's never a bad idea to healing up when you know there's going to be a fight. <laughs> that was a very uneventful lava room. This is obviously going to be a boss room. What's this? It looks like there's some sort of switch on top of this pedestal. Looks like the switch opens water's channels in this area. I think everyone already knows what's going to have to happen. But first we need to get through this room. And there was a... Okay, there's a puzzle over there. We could hear the beginnings of a moon, moon fish over there. Heard the moon fish. Gotta make sure we get that before anything else. I mean, not before anything else, but before we leave, we gotta make sure we get the moon fish. Is that a chest back there? Yes, that's a chest back there. Okay, uh... Didn't take much damage. Did I take any damage? I have. In fact, I've taken a decent amount of damage on Vice. Why did I think I'd taken no damage? Anyway, make sure that everyone is healed to max. Yep. And ready for the probably Tiki fight again. 
No, here he is. This is the guy I'm paranoid about. Enter Zivilline Bane. Zivilline Bane. Fellow treasure hunter. He shows up from time to time when you're just going to open a chest. Because, you know, he is um, like that. Incre Didn't I have an increase a box or something? No? Hmm, thought I did. Anyway, uh... These one-on-one -on -one fights have sort of a different tactic than we've been using before. We basically have to keep everyone alive, get Vice um, powered up, and make sure that he can use his super move as often as possible. So, power up Vice, keep everyone alive, and keep focusing and defending, because Bane has a couple of really big attacks that he will pull out of nowhere. So basically, defend and focus unless you are ready to attack right that second. <laughs> See that burst thing? If Fan hadn't been defending, she could have gotten killed in one hit there. And that, in addition to being bad, severely limits your um, spirit. So let's see, uh, Sakari Crystal, Sakaris Crystal on Fina, Fina Guard. So Vice can now use his super attack, buffed, which should do a decent amount of damage. There we go, took out half his health in one. And it's never worth just straight up attacking one of these guys because it lets them possibly counter attack and then you want guarding, and then it just does damage. Now, he can use burst whenever he wants, which is annoying, but he is also, yeah, 50 damage. He's also focusing Fina, which is also slightly dumb of him. You know what, I forgot to look. Okay, he does seem to be red. Yeah, he does seem to be red, though his avatar is over lava, so I can't quite tell. All right, everyone guard. Yep, burst. That's what he does. He just tries to one hit kill your party like that. Once you get the tactics downs for these guys, they're not that bad. Alright, um, keep Fina just in case this doesn't kill him. Keep Fina healed up. Because we need everyone in the party in order to be able to use Cutlass Fury, Fury every other turn. And he was blocking that turn. Which at least means he's not going to get to attack anything. We're wasting Sakaris Crystals. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be using Sakari Crystals because they are 500. He's only doing 400 damage. Using 1,000 healing is a waste. That's on me. I should be paying more attention to my actual numbers. And there we go. We've taken out Bane. And Bane is always guarding something good. We did it! I can never remember what chest he's at which is why I'm so relentlessly paranoid about things like this. Also, nice level ups. No extra spirit. We need more spirit, dang you. A Zal seed. The seeds, I'm pretty sure, are things that permanently increase your abilities. And we got a rune of ill omen. What is one of those when it's at home? Uh, equipment. Thieves aura. Uh, no? Okay, let's let's find. Can I not use? Can Vice not use those? Nope. Sorry, wrong thing. Equipment super move looks so similar. What is the rune of ill omen? Where would one find a rune of ill omen? All right, Zal seed increases vigor by three, which I think is. I think vigor increases your. <laughs> Overall health? I'm not sure I'd have to look at that. All right, Rune of Ill Omen. A treasure sought by the vein. Okay, so sometimes you just have to sell these things. It's just a valuable treasure. All right, I thought I could use it. Guess not. Everyone's actually healed perfectly because of how I handled that fight. And now we can move on to this puzzle. So yeah, Zayas Bane. All right, this puzzle looks like it might actually be a puzzle. Yeah, okay, so let's see here. I hear a fish. 
Is that going to... Okay. Not there yet. So let's see... Where's the good and bad of this puzzle? Well, let's just start here. Nope, I already... I already messed it up. I already messed up this puzzle. <laughs> Time to leave and come back. Here's me going, oh, all these puzzles are easy. Look at that. I can see that I already messed it up because there was only one way to get into that final thing. It also looks like every other time these pillars are going to switch. Which makes me think, so this one only has one place to go, which is over here. Okay. And now we should get this one. Because that will free up... There we go. That will free up that blue one to move. No. Okay, so then we get this blue one. Which will switch the pillars again. Fill up the red center. Because that's been moving up and down. There we go. And then... You use this blue one. Which gets us to that side. There we go. Switches the pillars. And then we take this red one and get it in there by going over this pillar. And that floods the chamber we're in with lava, killing us instantly. No. Which would be an interesting way to deal with this. Would be a very interesting way to deal with this particular, uh, with this particular area, but I guess no. So, I can't tell. It doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere close to that moon. It's right over there. It doesn't seem like I'm going to get close enough to it on this side. So I think I need to go back around to that switch. And then we're going to turn the water on, which of course is going to freeze over the lava. Which is going to let us across to what's very obviously a boss room. Now back to this switch where there's all this water. Because Minecraft rules. We would 100% be dead if we just created all that steam in this room. <laughs> but, you know, who's counting? Now, where's this stupid fish? Ugh. Come on. There we go. That thing is making noise and bugging me since we came in here. Alright, this is 100% a boss room. So let's make sure that we are healed up. See, outside of battle, always use your highest level healing spell. Inside of battle, when you're using items, don't. Because that's silly, and that was silly of me. Okay, um, for survivability, maybe I should up Fina's vigor. I don't know whose vigor I should upgrade. Anyway, we're going to just get prepared for the stupid boss fight. And we go. I can't remember this boss, so hopefully we'll do okay. Now, boss encounters in this game are all handled the same way, kind of very similarly to how we handled Ball there. Or Bane, whatever his name was. You just buff your main attacker, let him attack, make sure you're guarded and protected from things most of the rest of the time. Okay, I want Vice to focus. I want, actually, Aka to focus. You, you, oh, you haven't actually learned that spell yet. That's an unfortunate. We need you to learn that spell. Increase them on Vice, and Aka can guard, or Fina can guard, because Fina dies quick. It's kind of important for Fina to not die. Now, gaining one extra thing isn't going to be that big of a deal. Uh, one attack off of this boss isn't that big of a deal. Uh, we still can't use the S move because we didn't focus with Tina, so, but we're going to get it no matter what next time. So guard, guard, guard. And he just attacked, which is boring. All right. Cutlass Fury, both of you 
magic. I know this guy has some, like, really nasty moves later, because all the bosses do. But for now, same plan. 600 damage. That is not a lot. I don't like that. Oh no, Cinderstorm. Why did I not... Why did everyone not guard? That's probably going to inflict stone on me. No? Oh, nice. Okay, he used a special move on me that did very little to nothing. That I'm happy with. Alright, we can continue using Cutlass Fury if we keep focusing, possibly. So far, guy's not doing that much bad damage to us, so this is our tactic for a while. You can use Drillin or other debuffs on bosses, but they are very rare to take hold and they get rid of them very quickly. So it's basically not worth wasting your your uh, power on it. Oh no, Volcanic Blast. This is why you should guard. This is why you should almost always guard. <laughs> All right, he did just use Volcanic Blast, which means it's unlikely to do something like that again. Um, so you... You know, just use the Sakari's Crystal. You heal Fina, and you heal... Um, you heal Vice. Because if Vice goes down, it's a problem. Fina is the squishiest as well, so we need to try to keep her alive. We have to keep Vice alive because he's the one doing the damage. This early in the game, Vice is the only character we have that does any amount of significant damage. Let's try this. Which means we definitely have to keep him going. Cinderstorm, oh no, you're attacking the one person I didn't get to heal. Thankfully it's not that bad, but she did get a status effect. This is the stone status effect, it prevents them from being able to participate in the fight in a meaningful way. Which is unfortunate, because the only thing I have to do that is Cura, which I have to use my magic to achieve. Oh no, don't don't get her stoned as well. She's about to cure someone. Don't do it, don't do- oh no, Vice doesn't have Cura. Alright, Vice will have to just Fury attack by himself right now. Don't- don't stone my entire party, come on, don't, 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 don't. Okay, good, it didn't take on him. Good. Alright, we're whittling this guy down. He's less than half health. Okay, Aka came back. Good. Vice can guard. Do you have... Yeah, you have Kira, so you Kira Fina. As long as this thing doesn't use something annoying like Lava Storm or Lava Blast or whatever, we should be in not too bad a position. Cinder Storm, so you're going to try to take somebody else out. That doesn't do a lot of damage, but the stone effect is very annoying. Oof. Alright, well, we can use our Cutlass Fury again. I want you to use the crystal on Aka, keep her alive. No, don't you dare. Why does that move have such high priority? I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Come on, really? All right, next time Vice is going to heal Aka to try to keep her alive because Vice is at full health. And Vice isn't going to be able to use Cutlass Fury for at least one or two more turns because everyone is stoned. So you use the crystal on Aka to keep her in the frickin' fight, make sure she doesn't die. Just random attacking, that's fine. That doesn't do much. Aka is back. Fina being gone doesn't affect things that much. You, Cutlass Fury, do we have a Cura? We do have a Cura Crystal, and we got a Crystal's box. Yeah, use the Cura Crystal, so we don't waste SP. At least it gives us another up and moving target. I remember this boss being more annoying. 
Okay, Vice only needs one or two more hits on this stupid thing. Yes, okay, stupid boss, we got it. The boss is down, the boss is down, the boss is dead. Huh, that was easy. All right, that gives us a ton of gold. That gives us at least one level up. Okay, yeah, Fina got her level up to 14. Gets us a lot of magic. Now you have learned Rizayan. Okay, we got a Rizalem box. Rizayan cures you from death, I think, which is, you know, fainting, unconsciousness, but basically death. And now we can walk across the lava boss, as is tradition. Yeah, that's... Very common and traditional in these old RPGs. Walk across the boss's corpse to get across the lava pit. And now, we have the moon crystal. The thing that we was trying to get in case you forgot. Because I wouldn't blame you, it's been a bit. Wow, this is a moon crystal. Wow. It's so beautiful. I'm getting weak in the knees just looking at it. Moon crystal is the most concentrated source of energy at level C. It was created by distilling a moonstone into its purest form. Crystals are pure energy. The crystal alone has the power of thousands, no tens of thousands of moonstones. This power is this powerful enough to control one of the gigas? I like the light radiating from the crystal. Even though thousands of years have passed since the destruction of the old world, the crystal still shines as brightly as ever. Between the power of these crystals and the destructive force of the Gigas, it's easy to see how so much of the world was destroyed. It's sad the people of the old world had so much power and they used it to make weapons instead of helping each other. There's no way we can let Valua get their hands on one of these. Leave it to us. We'll keep it safe. The balloons are going to have to take it off of my dead body before I hand it over to them. So much of the world I still have to see, and I'm not going to let them wake up some ancient guardian and destroy half of it now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vice. I know you will do your best to keep it safe. Receive the red moon crystal. And we got a secret door. It's like a Skyrim door, but... Years before they did that. It's like this was a thing that people could have learned from. A long time ago. But you know. It's convenient. Talk about how un unrealistic the level design is. Okay, good. Well, that's probably going to be enough for today. <laughs> These are particularly long dungeons, so I think that that's going to do it for... Now, next time, we will probably head back to Nassau, figure out where the next crystal is. I'm sure there's going to be nothing in our way moving forward and everything will be peachy and we'll just collect all the crystals and never have to fight one of these super weapons or see them in action at all ever so join me next week for the continuation of our sky adventures i guess yeah if you like these videos then leave a like if you want to keep up with these series and any of the gaming stuff that i do then you can subscribe my name is Gebwin. thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you next time